Let's take a look at the Greatec Power Pack tools that allow us to move in the X and the Y plane. Normally in Revit, if you select an object, take this table and chairs for example, if I select them and I left click and hold to drag, it will move the object. But that doesn't set the X or the Y plane we wish to move them in. If I use the tools default out the box for Revit, I can select the object, I can come over here and pick the move tool, select a point which I want to move, for example, in my Y plane, type in the level or distance I need to be, and it will move. I then have to do the same in my X axis to move the object. Using the tools that we have on our power pack, you'll see here I can select the object, I can pick the move X and Y plane, which then allows me to set my distance. I can come in here and put a value for my X and also for my Y. As you'll see, once I click OK here, it's moved the object in both my X and my Y by 500 mils. We can also do this for structural elements as well. So for example, if I pick my foundation and my column here, I'm just going to select the tools again. I can come in here and select the value. So you'll see here again, just typing in the value I need, selecting OK, and it will move the object over. This also works for MEP equipment with inside Revit. So if I select this diffuser here and pick the tools, you'll see I've currently just been putting in values that move it vertically and horizontally. Okay. Now obviously it's going to do the same again, but this time I'm going to put a minus figure in for my X and I'm going to put a plus value in for my Y. So you'll see instead of it going towards the right on the x-axis, it will go to the left and it will go upwards as well. So I press OK now, you'll see it's moved the object for you.